show. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into one of my favorite rods in my rod series and that is my 7.2 crankbait rod. Okay, this is a medium heavy action, um, but it's more like the medium plus. I wouldn't call it a medium heavy. That's what it's rated right now, but this is a graphite composite and this is a big deal for me as I built this rod. I am when I am shallow water cranking specifically, what I mean by that is less than 10 feet of water, um, you know, this is the rod I'm selecting. You know, it really does a great job for my square bills, for my DT6s, like I have one right here, already set up for that pre-spawn bite. And the key with this, okay, the, the, this is my, my whole thing. Graphite composite and you have graphite rods. The whole thing that I've seen with this, okay, is when you have a graphite rod, what tends to happen, okay, what tends to happen is you have this rod that loads up really well, it's a whippier rod, and you can feel that bite almost too well. What I mean by that is, when I'm cranking rock, or I'm cranking riprap, when I'm cranking my crankbait down through there and I feel that bite on a graphite rod, I tend to pull it away from those fish. Our reaction time is so much quicker these days because the graphite continues to get better and better for a lower cost. And so what I've always seen with a graphite, graphite rod for myself is my reaction time is too quick. I tend to want to pull and that a lot of times what happens is that bait is outside the mouth or they nip it and I miss them. I have seen, and this is a personal opinion, and I think there's a lot of guys that fish professionally that use graphite rods and if that's for you though, and it works for you, stick with it. But if you have an issue with fish getting off on a crankbait, I would recommend switching to a graphite composite. Um, and that's why I designed this rod because I feel like I lose way less fish, way less fish on this rod. It's a little bit, sp it's a spongy rod, but it has a lot of backbone. And the reason it's so hard to do that to match this action in the straight graphite rod, I try to do it. I, I spent uh, several times trying to make the rod a graphite rod that, that I could deal with, but I just ended up to where I was like, I can't. And, and that's what I and that's why I designed this rod for the most part was ultimately your wiggle warts, your DT sixes, your shallow running crank baits, the, the baits that everybody uses for the most part. Um, this is the rod for you. Now I do have you see I had it on that rod or on that reel on every one of my rods. You'll see that I have my hook keeper right there. Okay. Now that is perfect position for me personally. That's what I like. Um, and then you'll see the EVA foam along with now. Um, on this is the only rod in my series that's a little bit different. Because again, I do not want to feel that rod as much. I do not have a split grip, okay? I don't want to overreact. I tend to do that and I see a lot of people that do that and that's why I wanted to dull the sensitivity down. It doesn't necessarily make so if you think about it, it makes sense, but that allows, that's when you get those, those crankbaits in their mouth so well, because when you crank down there and it loads up, that fish gets it, it clamps down on the, on the bait and you just slowly load up into the fish and oh gosh, and you feel that head shake. That is, tends to be always for me the best, like almost like it's, it, you were cranking, you're cranking. Oh wait, that's a rock. Okay. That's oh, whoa, big. And that's when they have it the best. So overreacting can be a bit negative in the, in the graphite graphite rod. Now the only thing I'll talk about this in the new rod that I have later on down the line. The only thing that's different when is when I'm casting long distances. This is not the rod that I'm going to recommend for deep cranking. And I'll talk about this later on. Um, have a little, little, little something that I'm going to show you guys. Um, it's going to be out very soon. And if not already out in several year Academy. So that is my graphite composite rod. It is the all around shallow water cranking rod. Um, you know, and even maybe light, lighter traps, lighter lipless crank baits. I wouldn't go super heavy on this rod, but, um, definitely one of my series that I cannot live without.